problem number 12. Andrew uses pieces of wood to build triangular picture frames. Determine the number of triangles he can form using the given side and angle measurements. Then solve the triangles, round to the nearest tenth. So looking at number 12, here he's given A is 8 centimeters, uh, B is 15 centimeters, and the angle of a, measure of angle A is 44 degrees. So looking at this picture, here we show A being 8. What would A have to be in order for that to form a right triangle? So if we A is big enough, if 8 is big enough for this, or A if A is 8, given that uh, it forms one triangle, if it's bigger than 8 but less than 15, it could form two triangles. But if it's smaller than this length right here, then it's not going to form any triangles. So that's what we need to find out. Well, if let's suppose that A was the uh, was the length forming a right angle. So my question is then, uh, how can we find that length? Well, I'm looking at the ratio here and thinking of this angle. I'm going opposite over hypotenuse. So I'd probably use sine. So we would start off by saying sine of 44 degrees is equal to A over 15. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by 15, then these would cancel and I would left with 15 times the sine of 44 degrees equals A. So let's use our calculator and find out what that is. So we come over here and we turn it on and we make sure that our mode is in degrees and it is. So we are going to go, let's clear this out. So we go 15 times sine 44 and we get 10, 10.4198. So in order for this to even form one triangle, that length has to be at least 10.42, 10.42. So A would be approximately 10.42. So given that there is no triangles are formed because A is not large enough for that to occur.